And we just were sitting there waiting to die because we didn't know if anybody was going to come to rescue us. Emergency preparedness for people with disabilities. A local researcher says a lot more needs to be done. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricen explains what some of the new numbers are now showing. He's in our studio. Oscar, this research doesn't just look at one person's story. They look scientifically at how many people are prepared, and the results are eye-opening. Inside a hotel room in Harlingen, this is where Mike Orban and his mother are waiting. Now their third week after the flooding, both in wheelchairs, the water nearly topped their heads. The flood, flood waters hit us just rock hard, and here we are, two people in wheelchairs sitting in high four-foot water, uh, and boats going by our house, I'm yelling, we, we need help, and the boats just go on by. He says their home got hit by both sides from the floodwaters. This is the first flood at their home since they moved in three years ago. Questions here I would like to show. Well, Professor Dean Kine says this is a problem for all four counties, the results of his data. Wow, this is a number that we saw and is alarming. Kine teaches sociology at UTRGV. He says he started this research after seeing the effects of the Asian tsunami when he was studying in Thailand. If you look at this... Um, he broke down the numbers. He surveyed more than 300 disabled people in the valley, asking them a number of questions, including if they're prepared now. Necessities, you know, and also they have medical conditions. They have to collect their medicine. And also um, they have different needs, you know, medical needs. He asks, are you prepared to handle the first 72 hours after a disaster? Will you plan to prepare? At least half of the people reported they weren't prepared. We have to think about helping these vulnerable group of people to prepare for any upcoming disaster. He says he and the students showed the results to emergency managers from around the valley. He says some acknowledge they need to get in touch with groups that work with disabled people because the reality. It was up to my chest, sitting in, in my manual wheelchair and, and rising. I've, I've had my arms crossed like, like this. I could just feel the water rising. Orban says this time he didn't make arrangements with authorities before the storm. He says he will now, but he says no one got in touch with him or his mother either. He says the area needs to be better prepared. And Texas does, does have a system that helps. The disaster registry allows people to call 311 and register with authorities. It's a voluntary system. And Kine says the system helps, but it needs to do more to explain the specific needs of people who are signing up. In the Channel 5 News Studio, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.